What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here. Today guys in this video we're going to be talking about Apple releasing iOS 7 beta 2. Now here on my iPhone 5 I am running iOS 7 beta 2 and every time Apple releases a new beta version for the next major software update, uh, you guys know for the past two years I've been doing the same thing for iOS 6 uh, and iOS 5. I usually put out a video uh, showing my iPhone screen running the latest beta version of the major software update, in this case iOS 7, that's going to be released later on uh, this fall. And in this case, it is the second beta version of iOS 7. This is just about two weeks after Apple's WWDC announcement where they released uh, iOS 7 beta 1, actually the day of the conference, you know, uh, pretty straightforward and simple uh, as usual. And we actually predicted this date about a week ago and we got it right on point. So this is iOS 7 beta 2. If you'd like to go download it, there's going to be links in the description to uh, iModZone downloads and from there you could download all the firmwares you need. Right now they're just uploading them as I speak, uh, but the link should be up very shortly. And uh, if you are registered, you could also register with iModZone if you want. Uh, then you will be able to get this. That is a warning right there. You're not going to be able to get this uh, if unless you're registered with the uh, UDID developer program, uh, or you could have someone register for you for cheaper. In, the, in this case, iModZone. So pretty much in uh, iOS 7 beta 2, it's just simple bug fixes. I'm going to go ahead and prove to you that I am running beta 2. As you can see right by the version identifier number, it is different from beta 1. So there it is. And there were just a lot of bug fixes in this update and I, I'm telling you it is worth it for these bug fixes because uh, beta 1 was one of the worst betas that Apple's ever put out in my opinion. But you know, uh, I gotta give it to them. I mean they did completely redesign the whole iOS. But there are a lot of uh, UI fixes, voice memos is back to um, so it's a very good thing as well because that that wasn't there uh, in beta 1 and they've just done a lot of bug fixes a lot of UI changes and by the way aside from using uh, the download links in the description you could also get this update over the air just by heading into settings uh, general and software update and right there as you can see mine says 7.0 your software is up to date however if you're on beta 1 uh, you're gonna get the message that uh, beta 2 is available for download to update your phone and also if you're not registered if you use the glitch that I put in a video uh, to get iOS 7 early do not update over the air I'm not a hundred percent sure if the glitch is gonna work if you do it the check for update restore type of way if you guys remember if you watch my video if you don't understand just go back and watch it I'm gonna test that out on my brother's iPhone uh, in just a couple minutes and then I'm also gonna be testing it out on my iPad and I'll let you guys know how it goes I don't know if it'll still work if Apple patched it but whatever you do if you're not registered and you did get beta 1 with the glitch do not update over the air uh, because your phone will not be able to activate we can confirm that at this time all right guys that's it for this video again the links are in the description or of course you could update over the air if you like this video please leave some comments below in your thoughts of course rate give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button below and I'll see you guys in the next video peace